Welcome to What's Up Wednesday. I'm Rob Jesse, and in this video, you're going to learn the five things not to do when you're applying for a loan. Check it out. Hey guys, I'm here with Ernie Chandler from OVM Financial, and we're going to kind of go over the five things that you shouldn't do when you're applying for a loan or even going through the process of buying a house. So we're going to start with number one. Number one, which one is that, Ernie? Uh, don't apply for credit. So what does that mean exactly? Well, uh, a lot of people, they don't realize that if you apply for your mortgage loan and then you go out and you start adding other debt to your situation or you apply somewhere, you could pull down your credit score. If it takes you longer than two or three months to find a house and we end up having to pull your credit again and your credit score has dropped, that could really hurt you. So when I'm approved for a house, I shouldn't go out to the mall and try to get all those department store credit cards? No! <laughs> oh, man. All right, so Ernie, number two, and I see this a lot. Should I go out and buy a car? No! <laughs> no car. But, but well, I just want to live it. I, I just have, I have a new, you know, I have credit now. Oh, yeah. Well, that's true. You have credit and you're excited you want to get a car, but you got to have something to live in so then you can have something to park in, in the car in the driveway. Okay. So wait till after you move into the house to get the new car. Exactly. All right. All right. So, Ernie, my uncle gave me $10,000. Should I go ahead and put that in the bank? It depends. <laughs> I'm going to say no. But if you have the money and you're not planning to buy a house yet, you're getting ready to buy a house, put it in the bank and let it sit 60 days. And then call me. But if you're already in the process and you're buying a house and you just got 10 grand today, don't put it in the bank. Okay. Okay. So, But there are ways, if that's my down payment... My uncle has to, to provide his bank statements and everything where he came up with the yeah, money. Yeah, now he can sign a gift letter okay. and help you out. But he has to prove where he got the money, right? Exactly. All righty. All right, so I hate my boss going through this loan process. You know, I know I can get another job. Should I quit my job? Learn to love your boss. <laughs> I am my boss. That's right. That's right. Love him. Just love him for a little while longer. Pretend. So, so keep that job. Keep don't the job. quit your job. Not even. Not even if I'm changing to a better job. Correct. Correct. Because we've already pre-qualified you at the job you're at now. And if we're getting ready to close in 30 days, just hang on for another 30 days and let's get it done. All right. So Ernie, number five. Should I spend the money I'm going to use for closing costs, even if I think I can get it back? No. <laughs> no, no. Not good, right? Not good at all. And, uh, you know, it's like I have people that, you know, a bill comes up and things do come up. Talk to your loan officer first. If there's a way you can work it out to make it happen, you can. But if not, hang on just another 20, 30 days until we get the loan closed. Awesome. Awesome. All right, this is another edition of What's Up Wednesday here with my preferred lender, Ernie Chandler with OVM Financial. And what's up? What's up? For other tips on purchasing a home, what to do, what not to do, click the side, click the other videos. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to subscribe.